on this video I'm gonna show you all my settings the first thing you come here high contrast on Windows I turn that on and I want to set up these colors in a way that I do not have blue zero blue because blue lights they just messed up with your eyes I can be watching this screen all day long every day no problem it's amazing so I'm, I'm mentioning that because some people say hey you know this color control app for me doesn't look the same as yours so that's that's why second thing you come here to github.com and download the color control app just type in on Google color control and then you're going to come uh, to this uh, page first let me go back so you're going to come here color control and then you just click here new releases latest release so you want to download this latest uh, release which not right now is the version number seven you click here color control zip you download that extract the files and open the executable which looks like this when you open this you have to make sure your TV and your computer are connected to the same network if it's Wi-Fi Wi-Fi if it's an Ethernet cable Ethernet cable both so then this is going to be auto detected your TV and you're going to be able to click here on expert and what I do because I like it and I explain why already you come here color gamut native and that's what I use this is also going to allow you to change that peak brightness to high to use black frame insertion on SDR and I'm gonna show you that actually what I am doing is a lot better than that and I'm going to compare that with the game so basically the only thing I'm gonna do right now here color control native the second second thing that I do this is going to void your warranty but I do it at my own risk because I understand and I also see that people that know a lot more than me all the professional calibrators even HDTV test uh, you know show a video uh, talking about this with a proper disclaimer uh, actually I, I made a video like this showing it and the next day he, he made another video uh, he, he made a video basically talking about the same thing TPC and GSR and GSR and why he did you know basically why should you consider disabling that so you come here options you click show advanced actions under the expert expert button when you do that you get the disclaimer this can completely damage your TV and cause you know irreversible damage the creators of this app are not responsible for that uh, so basically it's giving you a disclaimer you have to say yes I don't care I'm, I'm at my own risk I'm gonna do it so then you come here to LG controller expert and you're going to come here to in start so I'm gonna move the camera because that service menu is going to show my IP address and nobody uh, should care about that anyway just click there on in start and you're going to come down here to OLED again this is not my recommendation I am not an expert you should not be listening to me when it comes down to making changes on the service menu but this is what I do at my own risk understanding having an idea of what this is and basically be I'm willing to take the risk okay so basically this TPC is supposed to dim the screen and it does that clearly when you have a static image to prevent burning the problem is that sometimes you have a low luminance uh, scene for too long the TV thinks that's a static image and it's going to lower the brightness even more that does not happen on every TV there are some TVs that are not affected that much so you might be okay just by leaving it on and I do not recommend you to turn this off this is going to void your warranty just accessing this service menu is going to void your warranty because the, the TV has a log that is registering access to the service menu okay and for more details you can watch that HDTV test video that he made a day after me after mine uh, I'm talking about the first video 
I made explaining this and why I was turning that off. He next day he made a video, he explained everything and he knows a lot more than me. So you come I also turn this off, GSR. This is another uh, brightness limiter that is designed to limit the brightness of the logo itself, which which sounds very good. This is amazing. You, you see a logo, like a video game logo, uh, you lower the brightness of the logo only. The problem is, it doesn't work flawlessly, so I turn it off. The other information you can see here on the service menu is uh, if you have a WBE panel, that's the EVO panel, or WBC. It doesn't matter a lot, but I do have a WBE panel, which is basically used at a higher peak brightness so I am even less concerned about burning because basically I know this panel can go higher with no problem like a thousand nits but again it doesn't matter uh, you can do it on the WBC uh, but do your research learn what these two th settings are and see if it makes sense to change it for you okay so I think I <laughs> I did a even bigger disclaimer than HDTV test, okay? Just to be safe, I do not want to void your warranty. I do not want you to damage the TV following my advice because I am not an expert. I am not the person you should be listening to when it comes down to make changes here. But I have to show you what I do because you are watching my videos and I have to be honest and tell you what I am doing so you can get the best and the same results that I am getting if you consider those results to be the best okay so then that's it that's all I am doing here and then I'm gonna come to the settings of the TV I'm gonna turn off all the automatic stuff so you come here to support OLED care OLED panel care I'm gonna turn off screen move which is gonna move the screen slightly so again to prevent burning if you have a logo it's gonna, it's gonna try to move that logo to different pixels so the same color uh, it's it, it changed so you know it is to mitigate this, uh, the burning a little bit I turn that off and I also going to turn off this logo brightness which is clear to me when I turn this to low which is the default value it's clear to me that the screen brightness goes down so I'm turning that off too uh, so I'm showing you everything so you come here to general AI service make sure this AI brightness setting is off and I like to turn this AI sound pro I do like it a lot and I'm a musician so yeah I like it it, it sounds a lot better to me and I turn this AI, AI sound pro here too okay then on picture you step on here you're going to step here and you're gonna press on the remote control one 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 three one 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 it's gonna open this secret menu and what I use is I change this EOTF from auto I change this this to HLG and then I come here brightness this by default everything is max out and I am using black frame insertion so for black frame insertion dynamic tone mapping on is going to give you the highest uh, luminance level possible for black frame insertion and I'm going to demonstrate that to you that's the highest luminance possible so then you see the color na uh, color gamut is already on native again you come here expert color gamut and you change that to native that's what I do that's what I like color depth 50 warm 50 here on the white balance you lower this to warm 50 that's it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to show you a comparison on a game I'm going to show you a comparison between HLG and having everything max out with black frame insertion so you're going to see the settings without HLG so this is SDR settings with everything max out which is not recommended on SDR 
this contrast should be at an 85. Raising the contrast to 100% is going to affect the colors. But you, you have no option. When you're using a black frame insertion, you need to have all the brightness you can get because it's just not visible. So 100, 100, this is the black level of my TV, 51. And you see this peak brightness on high. The way I get this changed to high, using game optimizer mode and PC mode, I come here, expert, pick brightness, and I just click here, high, and it's gonna change that, okay? And gamma has to be 2.2 for black frame insertion. If you use 1.9, it's gonna be brighter, but it's going to look too flat. On SDR 1.9, it's too flat, it looks too bad. So, then you see black frame insertion here under clarity. I have that on high and I have that on high. Let me show you that I have that on high with HLG. Let's change to HLG. You see already it's brighter. So it's clear, clearly brighter. But I'm gonna show you that on again. You see, it's on high. So let's go and do a comparison between the brightest image you can get on SDR and I'm gonna compare that with the brightest uh, image I can get using HLG. So we have here Kina. Let's open Kina and let's take a look at it. So, okay, so let's look at this shot here. This is SDR with everything maxed out and black frame insertion on high. So it cannot be brighter than that. I come here, HLG, look at the difference. It's huge. Let's look at another shot. Again, let me show you. SDR, everything max out on the brightness. 100%, 100%, big brightness on high, gamma 2.2. The only, the only way to make this brighter is by changing gamma to 1.9, which it looks horrendous. This looks bad. But even doing that, even doing that, let me change that to HLG. So you see that this is absolutely the best way, the, the, you know, the, the brightest image that you can get. Look at that, even comparing it with gamma at 1.9, which looks so flat, this is a lot better, a lot better. This looks flat and washed out. This is gamma 1.9. It looks flat and washed out. So you do not want to use that anyway. But even using that is not a win. So 2.2 again. I'm gonna go back and forth one more time. So this is undeniably this HLG discovery with dynamic tone mapping on is undeniably the highest brightness you can get, the highest overall brightness you can get on this LG to use black frame insertion. There is no question about that. And I'm gonna show you something that is also great. And also you see all the details on the, and you can see the black frame insertion on the video. You can see all the clouds are visible. It looks fantastic. So I'm gonna show you another thing that's impressive about this. Let's change, for example, and by the way, you see the highlights? You see that highlight? It's blinding me. That's a, that's, a, that's a big highlight, look at that. That's very bright. So let me show you another amazing thing about this option. Take a look at the luminance level and I'm going to show, I'm going to change this from black frame insertion and dynamic tone mapping on, I'm going to change that to black frame insertion off and dynamic tone mapping off. And you will see that the luminance level is the same. This is why this is so impressive and so amazing. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm going to turn off 
so of course this is too dark I'm going to turn off black frame insertion so look at that luminance level so these are the highest quality settings no question about it no black frame insertion HLG and dynamic tone mapping off this is incredible HDR so good like this highlight here I'm sure that highlight is at least 600 nits at least 600 nits probably seven to eight hundred nits impressive so look at this luminance level okay HLG dynamic tone mapping off okay so let's let's take a look at again dynamic tone mapping on with black frame insertion look at that luminance level is even brighter overall is even brighter <laughs> so this the the luminance level overall is a little bit brighter than dynamic tone mapping off with HLG and this is black frame insertion on so undeniably the absolute best way to use black frame insertion is with that HLG on dynamic tone mapping on this is not the best picture quality uh, but in movement it is what it is in movement is amazing so there you go if you have any other questions I think I covered everything this is a long video it's not gonna have a lot of views probably but I, I did it for the people who are still uh, not able to get this working this is for you if somebody asks me I can link them to this video and this is all the information I am giving you all the information that I have I am not keeping anything to myself I'm being completely honest and transparent and showing you everything I have nothing to hide the reason why I, I did the video is to show everybody you know that what I, what has me so impressed about this LG and so happy I wanted to show that to everybody because it is very sad to spend so much money and then for my for on my case I spent all the money I, I spent was because of black frame insertion that was my dream to have a sample and hold basically to have an impulse display this is not impulse but you know it's simulating that motion resolution of an impulse display but it's 4k it's a big screen with beautiful colors so this was my dream so for me to to come here turn on the TV turn on black frame insertion and realize that was just not possible it was so frustrated so frustrating that I was about to return the TV and because I discovered this I wanted to show that to everybody because if you are on the same situation you you do have an amazing TV this TV is incredible and the black frame insertion is amazing it works amazing but this is the only way to get it working with this luminance level it is as bright or even brighter than the best picture quality you can get here which in this game which is this is an SDR game the best picture quality you can get is HLG dynamic tone mapping off is amazing and there is no comparison between auto HDR from Windows and HLG is not even close I'm gonna make a video doing that comparison it's not even close okay so still if you have any questions let me know and I will I'll do my best to help you.